As you can see, I just uh, arrived in the uh, robo-taxi, the cyber cab. There's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. And we have, uh, we have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. There's no steering wheel or pedals. I think the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So yes, and you will be able to buy one. We, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. We, we do expect actually to, to start a fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. <laughs> And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the Cyber Cab, that, which is hi, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably before 2027, let me put it that way. The computer can be so much better than a person is that we have millions of cars that are training uh, in, on driving. So it's like, it's like living millions of lives simultaneously and seeing very unusual situations that a person in their entire lifetime would not see. It's, it's, so with, with that amount of training data, it's obviously going to be much better than what a human could be, because um, you can't live a million lives. Um, and it's also, it can see in all directions simultaneously. Um, and and, and I, I want to emphasize that the, the solution that we have is, is AI and vision. So there's no um, expensive equipment needed. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the rubber taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. What, what, ha what, what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The, the Robovan. The Robovan is, uh, this is, a, we, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? So this can, this can carry up to 20 people and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. So this is gonna, <laughs> the Reboven is what's gonna solve for high density. So if you, if you want to take a sports team somewhere or um, you're looking to, to really uh, get uh, the cost of travel down to, I don't know, five, ten cents a mile, then you can use the Robovan. Um, but fundamentally, at scale, uh, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can, um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Let's party.